Welcome. I'm Nid, a soul guide, and I love to each month share a contemplation with you to open up the heart and mind to the possibilities of ways that you can find greater joy. And through my app, I also share various free practices that you can connect into to support you in finding that joy, as well as a beautiful sanctuary area which dives deeper through these videos and other practices and masterclasses that can support you. And this month we are going to be tapping into the theme of endurance for the light. Now where does this phrase even come from? How did I pluck that one out of the air for exploring in this April of 2024? There's a lot of transitional changes happening in the world and it can seem like there's some really scary stuff happening around us and some very challenging times. And so how is it that we can hold that rod of light, that hope for the future being different, for things changing? And really when things seem to be going on and on and on, it's an endurance. This is a test of can we endure and stay the course of holding that light of hope for the future. And so that's what we're really looking at in this video. I'm gonna start with a personal uh, example of how I have learnt to master this skill in my life. I had a head injury which included a brain injury uh, over a decade ago now and my life was turned upside down. I ended my career as a lawyer because I was at the time struggling to even write a sentence. My balance was really bad so there was no more Pilates and yoga for me which was my prior career before law. My marriage had ended, my house was gone, my pets went to my ex-husband and all my money vanished as well as having really bad health. And there was a real question for me about where was my life going to go and what was going to happen. And there was lots of statistics around increased depression, anxiety and other mental health issues that would arise from having had the kind of injury and lifestyle changes that I endured. And in those early days, I really had to spend some solid time with myself because there really was nothing else I could do. And I was in a lot of agony and a lot of pain. And to find acceptance when there is something that you have no control over can be very difficult, especially if you're someone who's used to pushing through and really you know, breaking down through the control of the mind, the ways in which we can achieve things in life. And I had to learn to accept and surrender through this process. And so it was many hours of being able to sit with my pain, to sit with what was happening with my life, until eventually I realized that the only way forward was to give purpose to every little win that I had along the way of my recovery. And that I could accept being exactly where I was whilst at the same time persevering towards the light that I could one day recover. And this is what I did every day for many years was focused on whether or not the things I was choosing were taking me towards that light of hope that I would recover. And every time I saw a little win, I would celebrate it. And every time there was many steps backwards and many not so gracious moments of learning and recovery, I would give myself a really big hug of well done for trying to see how I was growing, how I was getting better, and also remind myself that I still had some steps to go. And so it was through by the perseverance every day, the small things, being really subtly attuned and sensitive to my needs and to what was going on around me and how it supported that ultimate intention that I was holding. And so this connects me to the energy of the camel in the dream arc of part of the Gene Keys teachings, which is also related to Gene Keys 19, if you're interested. The camel represents to many of us that level of resilience, the ability that it can keep going through the desert without water for so long, and that it just takes one step at a time, moving towards the other side 
every day present with how it feels, with the attunement, and sensitive to the winds, to tune into the feeling beneath its feet, to know where it is that it can find water and be replenished. And it is through this steady path, these slow steps in silence across vast plains, and that sensitivity that is used of the subtle senses that inner peace can be found. And that is our light of hope, right? That we can be peaceful regardless of the world around us. And the camel really does represent so accurately this journey of endurance for the light. The fact that we need to find in every day these small magical winds that lead towards where it is we're going, even on the days where it seems like there's been a failure. So we always want to be looking for the light of hope in everything that there is around us. And I'd love to share with you a quote from Sri Ramana Maharashi, who is a great sage in India and one of the most enlightened teachers of the last two centuries. He speaks that of an intention, or in Sanskrit we call it a sanpalpa. The definition of it, he says, is the ostensible commitment and motive of doing a ritual uttered before it's begun. Now I like to break this down into five components. And they're very similar to the camel and what I've already spoken to. This is that in order to create that light that we wish to see in the world and to manifest a world of change in the times that we're in is to have a positive and tireless passion, to stay single focused with self-control of all the choices that we are making in the full trust faith and confidence that you can realize and release your resistance to the impossibility of what it is that you're dreaming of being realized. Because often it's our resistance to what we see in the world that makes us not really have the true faith and the real trust and confidence that peace is here, that peace is coming, that suffering can end and that's your own suffering as well as others. And I would like to invite you to the sanctuary for a further deeper dive into the aspects of how it is that we can learn as individuals as well as working collectively in moving through the endurance for light because it's through how we relate as independent beings in an interdependent world that we can actually start to move towards realizing these changes. If every person thinks that we sit in a circle, which we do really, the globe, the world, earth is a big circle or a sphere, and that we each have a responsibility that is unique and different to someone else's responsibility, when we take it in turns to step forward into what we're responsible for, then we can all hold that light while the other person needs to step forwards and be the light. And then they take a step back and someone else steps forwards when it's their turn to be in the light. And everyone else can hold that for that person while they are the light. And in this way, none of us gets exhausted. Everyone can maintain that positive and tireless passion because we're not always at the forefront. We can all stay focused on the light because while we're being the light, it's hard to stay focused on looking towards it. But when we're looking towards it, we can't be it all the time. And so we move in and out of that sphere. And we can support each other in having that self-control that all of our choices move towards that direction. So whatever it is that is the light for you at this time, I invite you to really use these five components to work towards your manifestation and realization of that light. And as you become a light, you ripple out more light into the world and empower other people to find their light in their way. And I'd love to invite you over to my Nids Nidra app where there are over 140 free resources to explore ways in which you can connect to releasing what it is that keeps you in the darkness and helps you bring those shadow aspects into the light with yourself. And in the sanctuary, you might want to dive deeper with our masterclass and really 
find those resources that are going to help and guide you with the movement practice that comes this month into being a wonderful gift to the world of holding your endurance towards the light.